cancer replacements. Let's find a good. Oh yeah, I like that. Hang on. <laughs> good, good side of the flowers. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see a lot of it. My cat keeps pulling at it, so she likes to pick them. Anyways, cancer. Let's see what we have for you. We're doing you already. <sighs> cancer. Let's see, cancer. Wow. What do we have here? Are you ready? Are, are you ready for some tea? Because this is gonna be spicy. Get your drink, your popcorn, whatever else. We have someone here that is telling you I'm busy. I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. I'm busy doing this, I'm busy doing that, I'm busy, I'm busy working. Uh, Today I have to do something. Uh, I can't talk to you all day. I'm busy. What they're really doing though, they're busy with someone else. Okay, so if you are in a relationship with this person, there's potentially infidelity. There's potentially cheating here. This person is lying to you. In simple terms, they're telling you, I'm working, I'm busy, I have a busy day ahead. Yeah, they're busy with someone else. Hang on. Oh, I hate when the sneeze goes away. This person is being foolish, baby. Let me tell you that much. Now, here is the weird part of this, Cancer. They love you, but they still want to mess around. What is that about? You tell me. They love you, but they still want to fuck around. Riddle me that. I mean, there are people like that, you know? Um, I personally do not understand them. So they have feelings for you. They care about you, they love you, they don't want to lose you. Possibly why they are lying to you. They're not telling you that they have someone else because they don't want to lose you. But at the same time, they want to fuck around. <sighs> this person is showing up as foolish. They are showing up as foolish, foolish. Interesting, huh? What is happening here? Explain more. The third party has Pisces in their chart. I don't know if that's going to help you in any way, but... You know, your person is really fucking this up. And they're coming across as greedy. It's like they want to have you, they don't want to lose you, but they also don't want to stop there. They want to be with someone else as well. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, you know when people say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission? 
this person has that mentality where they're like, I'm sure a cancer will forgive me if they find out. But for now, I'm going to lie to cancer and hope for the best. Well, I enjoy uh, the, the company of the new person or the company of the person that I'm cheating on cancer with. Foolish, foolish. You know, this person, it, it, they know they are foolish, but they're going with it anyway. You know what I mean? I mean, at least they know they're an idiot. But they're going with it anyway. It's like, yeah, oof, you know, I'm, I'm such an idiot or I'm such a, a foolish man or a foolish woman. But they go ahead and do it anyway. It's like they are controlled by their own desire. They have no control over themselves. Foolish, childish, controlled by their desire. This is someone you're with. This is not a fucking ex. This is not you separated from. This is someone you are currently with. Unless you find them out, you found them out lately. But the energy here that I'm getting, it's very fresh and it's very present. Meaning this is like they are in a relationship with you. It doesn't count when you have arguments, but you know, um, when I say separation, I'm talking about official separation, a breakup, not an argument, okay? Because you're still together. <sighs> if this person is telling you I'm working late, I have a business meeting, I have a business trip, bullshit, 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 bullshit. They're going to see that, that person the third party. And you know what? The other person knows about you. The other person, the third party, they know about you. And you know what? This person is telling your person. So when are you and Cancer going to break up? Because we need to get married. Like this, this third energy is trying to pull your person away from you, Cancer. <sighs> I told you, this is some two, okay? Because I see that third energy is aware of you. They know about you. But what they're doing here, this third energy, is trying to get your person away from you first so that they get to marry your person. Which tells me that your person is talking shit about you. Telling, telling the third party that they're not happy with you, that you're a drama, drama king, drama queen. That, you know, they're over you, they're just with you because it makes sense, they want to break up with you, even though I see no intention to break up with you. <coughs> so, Cancer, your person is bullshitting the third person, and the third party thinks that your person is not happy with you. This is some typical bullshit right here, isn't it? Like classic. What a mess, huh? I do see that your person has no intention to break up with you. In fact, they're hoping and praying that you don't find out. So... Which tells me that your person is, is making the third party know that they're going to break up with you. But I see no intention to do that. I see no intention from them to break up with you. In fact, they're hoping that you don't know for the longest possible time. I mean, every cheater gets found out, get, gets, gets found, right? Because a person who cheats is not smart to begin with. 
but they're hoping that you will not find out. They're hoping that by telling the third party that, oh yeah, they want to break up with you or whatever, that they are, they're going to marry them, is going to keep them at bay. <laughs> Your person is a piece of shit. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Cancer, if you have suspicions that there is someone else, this is your confirmation. If they're telling you, yeah, I'm working late, I'm very busy these days. Bullshit. And you know it, you know it. Intuitively, water signs are good in sensing that so something is off here. Not necessarily knowing what is off. So if you're sensing that this person is bullshitting you, you're right, there is someone else. Indeed. Now I do see from your person's perspective that they perceive this connection as a sexual-based connection. They have no intention to commit to this person. But the third party thinks otherwise. The third party thinks that your person will break up with you and be with them, even marry them. <laughs> uh, I laugh because your person is a piece of shit. Don't mind me. Don't mind me adding that again. <laughs> oh man, what a messy situation you've got here. Cancer, you know, it's it's a fucking waste because this person is being greedy and wasting the love that that you both of you have for each other. Let me see how you feel about this person. Cancer, yeah. You think of them as the soulmate. You care about them. You love them. So, maybe there is a part of you that is hoping that you are wrong because your intuition is telling you something is off, something is not right. And you're hoping, oh, I hope I'm fucking wrong. I hope I'm just overthinking this. I hope I'm just being fucking paranoid. I'm sorry to, to pierce the bubble for you. You're not being paranoid. Your intuition is spot on. Maybe you didn't know it was third party, but you are right that something is off. You could be like finding yourself thinking about what you're going to do without this person. It's almost like intuit intuitively and subconsciously you're preparing yourself for a separation. You could be subconsciously making plans. Like, if things didn't work out between me and this person, what will I do? Where where will I go? You could be thinking about these things, and then you're like, why am I thinking that? That's weird. And then you carry on doing what, what you were doing anyway. You know what I mean? I feel like intuitively, you know, something is up. And there could be possibly the separation or breakup between the two of you. Mm. I'm sorry, did I say your person is a dumbass already? <coughs> because they're fucking up something good for something temporary, for a desire based connection. And uh, let's not forget that they are forming karma with that third energy because the third energy knows or thinks that your person is serious about them. And I don't see them serious. It's sexual. And um, with you, they have feelings. So it's different. But it's still fucked up, don't get me wrong. Like, it doesn't matter, yeah, they love you, but they love you to the point where they fucking cheat? Is that what love is? Fuck no. This person just allow themselves to be empowered by their desire. Knowing 
knowing the consequences of that, knowing. So even though they love you, they're still going for it. They're still going after their desire. Knowing how that can fuck up your relationship. But they're hoping, you know, fingers crossed, you won't find out. They're hoping you don't find out. What should Cancer do? Let's just pull advice for this one. <coughs> what should Cancer do? Cancer, look at this logically. Treat this logically. I do want to say, prepare an exit plan. And when I say prepare an exit plan, I feel like, you know, you have to kind of like create a backup. Be 10 steps ahead of this person. By the time they find out that you found out, you'll be like, see you later. I have a house and a husband and a, a wife and a... And a dog and a farm waiting for me to move into. <laughs> you enjoy your little thing going on there. Like, I'm not saying that you, you know, move from one relationship to the next. But that's not what I'm saying. It's just an example. For example, now that you know this person or you had your confirmation that this person is fucking around, have an exit plan. For example, if you are married to this person, make sure that you have um, money saved up. Uh, in the case, you know, where things get fucked up. Make sure you know which solicitor or lawyer you want to work with in order to divide the assets, whatever it is that you, you know, I don't know if you signed a prenup or not. Um, you know, like, make sure that you go through this situation logically. Think about this logically. How am I going to secure myself? How am I going to make sure that I am okay? Because the consequences of that of that person's uh, actions could harm you too. Meaning it could put a dent on your life. And it's your not fuck. It's, it's not your mistake that this fucker cheats. So make sure that you have an exit plan that secures your exit. <coughs> Ooh, my chest hurts. My throat, really. But anyways. So, make sure you got your back, Cancer. Because this fucker is, is not really thinking straight. Because their, their brain is in their dick or in their pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make sure you got your back covered. Make sure you are 10 steps ahead. By the time this person says, oh, by the way, come here, I want to tell you something. Just tell them, I know. And you pull out your suitcase already ready, already packed, and you're like, see you later. You know what I mean? Like, be prepared. Um, don't be the type of person that will get emotional about this. And I mean, I'm not saying that y you can't be emotional because it's your fucking right. You know, this is this is your partner that cheated on you. You know, I don't blame you for getting emotional. But cry on your own time, wipe those tears, get to business. Treat this logically. Secure yourself. Um. I feel like it will make you feel it, it it will make you feel better if you have the upper hand in a shitty situation like this. If you come out of this a loser and you got cheated on, it's double whammy. It's it's uh, hurtful plus two. It's hurtful twice, right? Because not only you got cheated on, 
that you came out as the loser, meaning that you reaped some of the consequences that this stupid motherfucker did themselves, to themselves, and to the connection. You know what I mean? Just because they have diarrhea doesn't mean that you should get splattered. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> You know, the worst, the worst uh, part of recovering from a, a fever slash flu, whatever this fucking shit is, is when you feel better, but the cough is the last type of symptom that you will have. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, the nose, obviously. Like, that's not fun. Because I will, like recover from a fever really quickly, but the cough will stick around. <coughs> the cough and the blocked nose will stick around for a fucking week. Or less. Or less. <sighs> recover faster. Just do it. Recover faster. All right. <laughs> you know, I just want to say my stalkers are so fucking loyal. <laughs> oh my god. You know, it's almost cute. I'm not talking to you, Cancer. I have very loyal stalkers. They literally watch every video I upload. It's almost cute, I must say. It's almost, almost cute. <sighs> Keep watching, baby. Make me some money. <laughs> uh, all right. Mm. Okay, so, yeah, Cancer, let's pull you another message. If this first message wasn't yours, let's pull you another one. Hang on. Hang on. Cancer, let's pull you another message. Let's see. You have someone here, <laughs> I'm like a spider, the way I'm sitting. <laughs> you have someone here that has such stairs or Scorpio in their chart or Leo. Okay, what about them? Man, this person is breaking down. They're pretending to be okay, but they're not. I don't know who this person is to you. You know, I'm not sure if this is a lover, a love interest, a friend, a family member. So take it as it resonates. They have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, uh, Taurus. This person is not doing well. And you might think that they are, but this person is very good hiding it, hiding the fact that they're not doing well. 
I do feel like this person is going through like um, a crisis of some kind. They're suffering in silence is what I just heard. Suffering in silence. And I feel like this person find it, finds it hard to ask for help or finds it hard to admit that they've got something that is bigger than they can handle or that they could be reaching a burnout and they don't feel comfortable sharing that to people around them. This person could have anger issues. They could be not, they could not do well dealing with their emotions. Uh, meaning that they find it hard to control their emotions. They are very reactive. Hmm. I'm feeling a bit of nervousness and high level of anxiety. Like I'm moving my leg right now. And there is like almost like a pressing um, sensation on my chest. It's almost like someone is sitting on my chest. And it's like getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And I feel like this person is... They're fucking stressed out. They're stressed out. What about this person? What do you want to say exactly? How is this any of your fucking business? I mean, you clearly care enough to pull this energy. But what about it? Tell me more. Oh, I see. I see. You see right through this person. You see right through their facade. You see right through the fact that they're hiding what they're going through. You know them well enough to know that, um, you know, they're going through something that is heavy on them. You know that. Okay. So, you know what I'm getting, Cancer? This is almost telling you, you know, things will work out. Thing, things will work out. Don't worry. This person will come through. This person will get over whatever that this is uh, that is happening in their life. <coughs> they will come through. They will be okay. It's just a phase. They will pull through. There will be better days. This person will get better. They will see the day, uh, the, the light of the day. <coughs> this person will see the light of the day. That scared the shit out of me. Hang on. Hello? Hello?
What the hell? That's so weird. That's so weird. There's a delivery guy, but like, I don't know what happened. He rang me and when I answered, he wasn't answering me. And I heard him talk on the phone. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm to Yeah. Any fucking way. Lazy bastards. You know, the, the thing that I hate about most humans is their lazy ass. But anyways. <coughs> So, this person that you're worrying about, Cancer, is going to be okay. They will pull through. What is happening? Such chaotic energy. I'm receiving a phone call right now as well. Cancer. So this is a continue. <laughs> this is me continuing your reading. I had to answer that fucking call. Uh, chaotic to chaotic. So let me see what I'm gonna take to the extended because I already pulled second message. But it was really a short message, so I'm not going to take that to the extended, okay? Um, okay. Let's see. Cancer. Wow. Someone here is burying themselves alive. They have feelings for you, but they can't get over you. They can't get over the thought of you or the memory of you, I want to say. They try to forget about you, but they can't, they can't. This person realized your worth after your separation, after the moment they separated from you. It's like it required your separation in order for them to realize your worth or the intensity of the connection that you two have. Because they understand now that the connection between the two of you has the lover's energy. They understand 
that they are madly in love with you. And it's not even funny because this person could be like drinking, using substance abuse or abusing substance in order to forget about you and in, in order to bury themselves or bury their feelings for you. But it's it's actually making them more miserable and it's making them miss you even more. I just heard there is no one like you. And I feel like realistically, you know, when someone feels like this, it's not about comparing your physical appearance. But, I mean, it could be that as well. But it, it feels more energet energetically. Like when it comes to someone not finding someone like you, it's because they cannot have the package, the same package that you have through someone else. I just heard sensual. This person thinks you are sensual or you have been very sensual when you were together. And you know, there is a part of them that really wants to tell you all of this. But they're trying not to. And I'm not sure why they're trying not to. So I'm going to take this to the extent that it seems like there is more to dig in this. Okay, so let's dig it. I want to see why they think they shouldn't confess to you and how you feel about them and whatever else comes through. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that's it. <coughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it. All right. The extended reading will be in the description box. I'll see you there.